Hi, my name is Alicia Cota. Today's date is 5-15-2018. Uh, and this is week two of Bio 225. Uh, the lab experiment is called um, Bacterial Enumeration Dilution. Um, in this experiment, I it will be um, showing the exponential growth that microbes go through, through binary fusion, meaning that the cell is, um, that is one single cell will divide into two and creating multiple colonies. An example of their gro of the exponential growth is over a period of 30 minutes, um, a certain amount of colonies will form and over a period of 10 hours, there could be more than a, a half a billion, half a million uh, microbes that could have formed on the, uh, with that uh, microbe. Um, in this uh, lab, the first thing I'm gonna do is of course I clean my surface with a 10% bleach to make sure I have a sterile environment. And then secondly, I have all of my labeled tubes. Um, in these tubes is distilled water and each of them is 2.25 um, ml of distilled water. I have them labeled. Um, it's gonna be one through six. And then next, I poured my agar plates yesterday and made sure that they were ready for the experiment today. They are also labeled one through six. And then I have the yeast, which is the S. cerevisera. Um, and then that is what I am going to dilute. So the goal is to uh, have the, the microbes on the plate. Um, the first plate should have a high number of colonies and then I'm hoping to dilute them into the last, um, my goal for the 10 to six is to get a CF, which is a forming unit of the microbe, a CFU. Um, I'm hoping to get between about 30 to 300 colonies on the last one. Okay, and then how I'm going to do that is first I have my pipette. I'm going to fill it with 0.25, which is on the pipette. You'll see the first little line right here. That'll be 0.25. So I'm going to put that there. And then I have my number one tube. My number one is gonna get the full 0.25. Then what I'm gonna do is make sure that all of it is in the tube and I mix it around. How I'm gonna do the dilution is I'm gonna go from the first one, I'm gonna collect um, 0.25 again. And then I am going to go to the second tube. and put that into the second tube. Then make sure it's mixed around as well. Make sure it's all in there. And then clear the tube out. Then I will be collecting again, 0.25. And then I'll go into the third tube and place it in there, mix it around. Then make sure it's all in there. Collecting from number three, uh, 0.25 again. And then go into tube number four, dilute that. Then I will collect again to 0.25 and then go to tube number five. And then make sure it's mixed around. Lastly, for the last tube, again with the 0.25 into tube number six. And that will be the last tube that I will be diluting. Then it says in the experiment, I will put the pipette in distilled water. And 
And then I'll make sure that my pipe bed is clean. Okay, now what I will do is the tubes that I have, I will put them on my agar plates. It's gonna go a corresponding tube to corresponding agar, it's 10 to one, so then I will have the 10 to one um, tube of the, the yeast. I'm gonna flip it over. <clears throat> Now I have to make sure that I only open this, uh, the agar plate to a tilt to not um, have any contamination to the, t to the plate. So what the experiment asks is for is four drops of this solution into the plate. So one, two, three, four. And then I will get rid of that. And then I will pick up the plate and shake it around. So I will be doing this to all of the remaining plates. Um, after that, I will let them sit for 12 hours with the agar at the bottom and the lid at the top. It has to sit for 12 hours so that the liquid could um, grow into the agar. And then after that agar, after it has set in after 12 hours, then I will invert the plate, which is turn it upside down, so that there's no contamination from the lid that will go into my microbes. So I, at the end of the 12 hours, I will flip it over so that the microbes could continue to grow. So I will do that for the remaining of these plates, and that concludes my dilution bacterial enumeration dilution lab. Thank you.